We're here in regional Victoria, checking out a multi-generational dairy farm. What makes this farm so unique is the fact that it has installed an exceptionally large battery storage system, courtesy of the USA's Franklin WH, one of the largest manufacturers of energy storage. Join me as we take a closer look. How long have you guys actually been in dairy farming for? Uh, it, we're fourth generation now, so I think it's third generation in dairy, in actual dairy. So, yeah, dad's dad and his dad before him had the land and then they started dairying and then dad's followed through and, yeah, I've taken over again. How many cows do you have? We milk about 260 to 270. Being at a dairy farm for the first time, it blows me away how much technology there is. First and foremost, it must cost quite a lot to install an, um, a setup such as this one. Yeah, it's quite dear, yep, I wouldn't know the exact number, but yeah, we'd be talking close to a million dollars for a setup like this. And I can imagine your electricity bill must be absolutely humongous. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a big challenge and I think it's only getting worse, like the last few years it's probably at least doubled, probably in the last three to four years, so uh, yeah, solar was one way we could look at reducing that quite a bit. Yeah, so we've got an old dairy um, that we're still milking in at the moment. We put a 30 kilowatt solar system on that, five to six years ago and we found some good benefits. We've outgrown it now, we use a lot more power so we wanted to look at ways to reduce our costs. We contacted the dairy around about eight months ago and they had an issue that we all have. Businesses and mums and dads had an issue of huge power bills and they just seem to be going up and up every year. And they've been approached by 20, 30, 40 different solar companies and we sat down with them and said, look, you're gonna to have to start looking at batteries if you really wanna make an impact. Batteries are expensive, but if they're done right and designed correctly, they can actually make a really good impact and have a good return on investment. In the dairy farm, we milk in the morning when it's dark and sometimes in the night when it's dark, so you're not utilising the solar that you're creating, so to have batteries is probably the way forward for us. We developed a solar system that would produce the same amount of power as they were using per day and a battery system that would cover their loads outside of sunlight hours. The solar system on average per day on a sunny day is going to produce three days worth of power. The batteries will also store three days worth of power so where this is going to come into its own is, is, is during winter when the sun's not as high in the sky and it's often cloudy and raining. The solar producing will be quite a bit less but there'll be three days worth of battery storage there to cover those those bad cloudy and rainy days. We jumped on board with Franklin. I contacted them and they were really keen to get involved. With Franklin um, AC Couple Battery Solution, you know, we're really motivated to look after and, and see some regional Victoria and really happy to engage with dairy farmer and, and support their local community as well. So that ticked all the boxes from, from that perspective. They're constantly monitoring the batteries and making sure that it's doing what we're promising. It's nice to have a battery manufacturer here in Australia that I can pick up the phone and ring one of the managers on their mobile phone and have a discussion about that. Having that support's really crucial for a job like this. What sort of savings do you expect to see from that sort of investment in solar batteries? Uh, I think we're aiming for about a 75% saving. There's six batteries installed and there'll be another six to come. I mean, the six batteries we've got now is turned on and seems to be working quite well, so I'm sure another six batteries will only enhance it. I think about a five year return on investment too, so if that was the case, and hopefully it is, yeah, that'll be a really good saving in the future as well. If there is a blackout or a brownout of some sorts that disables the electricity supply to this property, how does Franklin's technology kick in to obviously assist the customer in that, in that scenario? Yeah, so if the grid goes down, then it automatically, within like milliseconds, will switch straight over to the backup functionality. So whatever capacity is left in the batteries, in this particular case, there's going to be up to 12 batteries. So it'll, it'll basically switch over within seconds, uh, and then you can utilise all of the load that's left in the battery. In addition to that, um, the discharge is only runs down to 13.6 kilowatts usable. You've still got 1.4 in the bottom. So what that means is it actually kicks in the inverter uh, the following day once the sun comes out and then you can utilise basically a full off-grid functionality. To be able to still milk the cows if the power goes off and not have to really stress about it. Um, in the last well, 10 years or so there's been a couple of bad fires not actually come through here but close by that plenty of people have been affected by. So. Um, yeah, to have a little bit of reassurance that you can still milk your cows and probably for the milk companies as well to know that you can still cool your milk. Um, yeah, it's reassuring. 